the equipment being used by scientist Chris Darimont is decidedly low-tech. A container full of salmon guts. This is wonderful stuff. The wind carries this distinctive perfume deep into the forest. Now the bait is set, Chris lines the area with barbed wire and switches on some remote cameras. Time to make a hasty retreat. Grizzly bears just love smelly fish. But it's not the bear Chris is trying to trap. All he needs is a single hair. Barbed wire does the trick and doesn't seem to bother the bear at all. And this bear certainly seems to love the scent of salmon. It doesn't take long before a whole mob moves in for a taste. Now that the coast is clear, Chris collects the hair. This single hair contains a record of what the bear has been eating. By analysing it, Chris discovers that 80% of the nitrogen in the bear's hair is a form that's mostly found in the ocean. The biggest transporter of this oceanic nitrogen could only be the salmon. The results from the bear's hair suggest that the bears eat almost nothing else. Yet they only eat the salmon for a few weeks a year. This is odd. Now it's spring, they're only eating berries and grass. There isn't a salmon in sight. They're getting the rest of their oceanic nitrogen from plants. The source of the plant's oceanic nitrogen is those salmon carcasses that were dumped during the autumn. As the salmon decomposes, its nitrogen enters the wood wide web. And as light reaches forest clearings, this salmon nitrogen fuels a burst of plant life. Here the grass is rich and makes for a tasty spring salad for the bears to feast on. <laughs> 